Whenever Johnny has some time off, he spends it working on his house. He bought this old stable in the middle of Gotland Island eight years ago. The place had no electricity, no running water, no plumbing. He had to do it all by himself. You have to have cold beer, you have to have cold milk, and the, the, the butter have to be stored in a cold place and everything like that. So I was uh, started with a little uh, refrigerator driven on um, sun, uh, sun electricity. And I have that for a couple of years. Now the solar panels on his property generate 70% of the house's electricity. The rest comes from the small wind machine in his backyard. And to heat up the house in a natural way, Johnny uses these compact wood pellets. Take all this, uh, he believes using clean energy doesn't mean he has to turn his back on modern comfort. I don't want to make the dish by hand. There's no way I will do that. Yeah, we have the technology. We can go to moon and we can you know, fly to Mars and everything like that. Why can't I have a dishing machine? So. Johnny is no exception. The entire island of Gotland is going green. The municipality of Gotland ambitiously aims to stop using all fossil fuel by 2025. Helena Anderson is Gotland's eco-strategist. According to her, the island's best asset is probably its 160 wind power plants. They already generate 20% of Gotland's electrical needs. I'm proud of what, that people do take care of Gotland because Gotland is uh, known in Sweden as a very special island and the people on Gotland are proud of, of the island and maybe as islanders they also know how to rely upon local resources. Relying on local resources, that's exactly what Magnus does. He's at the head of a chicken co-op. His idea? Produce biogas, a form of green fuel. By using the droppings, of his 50,000 chickens. The hens produce eggs and uh, of the manure and other waste uh, we make biogas. The picture may seem idyllic, but Gotland has to deal with one big source of pollution, Cementa, one of Sweden's biggest cement factories. It accounts for half of the island's energy consumption and a major part of the air pollution. A cement plant could never be a non-emitter. Uh, this uh, plant is, is really big and we will always have emissions and affect nature. So, relocating the factory? It's an option, but 200 persons would lose their jobs, a major economical obstacle that now prevents Gotland from going 100% green.